Hello everyone. If you are a developer or you are a DevOps engineer, most of the time on a day to day basis, you might be running different commands. Sometimes those commands could be lengthy and it might be irritating to remember and use those commands. Because of this reason, you might refrain yourself from using the terminal and instead moving on to the UI. If you are into that category, this video is for you. So keep watching till the end to know how we can define the simplest name of the command so that it will be easy to use and easy to remember. These commands could be as simple as moving on to certain directory. Suppose you have a working directory where you have all the work related stuff and you want to go to that directory and this is you do quite often. So instead of typing that command, you can give it a name such as work. And now instead of typing whole command, you can just type work and you will be able to switch to that directory. Similarly, you might be running different applications and to run those applications, you need to start the application by providing some configuration. This is a lengthy command, right? And now instead of that, if you just say zoo, then you will be able to start the zookeeper or similarly other server, you can start by just defining the name. Also, if you are working with Gradle, Maven, there are lots of command that you might be running. Similarly, for Git, you need to check out the code, you need to merge, you need to push your code to the origin. Instead of applying those commands, you can define the alias and you can just use that. To define the alias, we will of course go to the command line and here we can define the alias. For the Mac or Ubuntu or Linux based systems, you can define the alias by simply typing the command alias and then you can give it a name. Suppose we want to print the hello world to the terminal, right? For that, the command would be echo and here we can say hello world and this is printed. You have to repeatedly use this command. So instead of using the command, we can define the alias and for that alias and here we will define the name for this alias echo hello world and say it is hello and then in the quotes we can define the command so the command is echo hello world okay and when we run this hello it will print the hello world so anytime you need to run this command instead of that you can just apply the hello alias and now if we are going into some other terminal or other tab let's see if we are able to access this hello from here as well you will not get it because when we define this alias here in the terminal, then it is only available for this session. And here we have another session. To persist the alias, we can store the alias in the profile files. I am using Jet Shell, so my profile file is Jet SHRC. To open the file, we can use any editor such as VI or we can use the code or anything so i'm using visual studio so i'll be opening this file on the visual studio so here to open the file we have the command code and then the file name to run this command you might not feel comfortable every time we can create the alias for this as well right so next time whenever we need to open this file we can just use the alias so now if i open this file here i have already defined one alias to open the jshrc file in the visual studio code i can use this alias here to define the alias this is the same thing as we have done in the command line now here we can define the alias hello and the same alias we can copy and now if you just run the hello still the command is not there because any changes we do in the files we need to source them for sourcing the file we have source and then the file name for the same reason, I have also created the alias rjsh, which is to refresh the jshrc file. Instead of running the source jshrc, I can use the rjsh. And now if I say hello, then it will print the hello word. Similarly, you can define other commands like you want to switch to certain directory or you want to do any other action. Primarily, there are three categories of the alias. The first one is what we have already seen right now in which whatever command we define within the alias are the fixed command here every time whenever we run the hello alias it will always print hello world 
but it is possible that we want to print different word each time instead of hello word i want to print anything else so for that there are two ways first one is if you want to define the alias like this alias and hello one this is the second version of hello and this time this echo you just do echo and you are not defining the value that need to be printed right and now while using this hello alias i will pass the value pp and it will print pp okay similarly if i print welcome it will print welcome so this time the value that we are passing along with the command is appending with the command that we have added so here after echo it will be appended any dynamic value suppose we need to create a new directory so for that if we want to create the alias alias md is equals to make dir and i can use md to create directory one so here it has created directory one similarly if i want to create directory two and ls so it has also created directory two let's say we have a scenario wherein we need to create a directory and we need to move into that directory the same command for that if i just define the alias say mcd make directory and cd to that directory for that if you just think about the command it could be simply like mkdir then the directory name say dir1 and then cd2 dir1 whenever we will run this mcd alias it will create a directory and then move into that directory but what we want is this directory has to be dynamic whatever value we pass as the argument it should be reflected in the command but now if we don't define any value here or we don't define this value dir1 like this okay and now when we say mcd then whatever value we will pass this value will be added at the end of the command so the command that will be created is like this and then aa which is invalid command whenever we define any shell script if we need to pass the argument we have to define different functions so in this shell script if i define a function like function mcd okay to define a function we can define this and here we can define the command and the command that we want to define is to create a directory and moving on to the same directory we need to define the argument we can define dollar and then the value dollar one represents the first argument similarly dollar two dollar three will represent the argument number two or three or so on right so here we have to create a directory with the same argument so dollar one can be used here as well this function mcd has been created and if we just refresh this rzsh now we can use the function mcd and if we need to pass the value we can pass dir3 and now it has created the directory and it also moved into that directory instead of alias we have defined the function right now to check what all function we have we have the command com gen hyphen a and the function it will show all the functions that we have in the system now you can see we have hell a lot of functions and to identify your function it is very difficult task right so if i just grab and then the function so it will list down now your function but what all function you have created it can be difficult thing to identify for that reason instead of defining the function we can define the alias that contains the function so here if we have this function now we can pass this to our alias let's see how we can do that so for that say i have alias fmcd and then to define the function we will do the same thing we have name of the function say it is fun and then the brackets and within the curly braces we can define the body after the function body we can call the function like this okay and whatever command we will write in here when we call this fmcd this command will be executed 
and now we can pass the argument so let's copy this thing here and now this dollar one is what we are going to pass from the command line this fmcd is similar to this function mcd but this time it is the alias and if we just source it and check the alias so here we have got this fmcd alias and now let's run this fmcd and dir3 dir4 let's create this and here we have got the dir4 it's up to you to define either alias or the function as per your convenience until now we have seen two possibilities the first one is to define the alias which executes the command as is and the second one is when we need to pass the argument to the alias. So now let's say we have one more scenario in which we want to filter out some of the data from certain commands. Let's say we have the processes running in our system and we want to grab the Java processes. Okay, for that we have this command. Similarly, if we have to list down the directories, but those contains the some extension say we have ls and then we want to grab say key files here we have the file both of these commands are doing different things they are identifying the information by filtering the data this is the common theme across these commands instead of using this here we can define the alias for this and to define the alias let's say we have alias and we can give gp1 and now suppose i just provide this alias here yeah and now in the ls command instead of using the grab if i want to use gp1 this alias is not working and this is because now we are using this grab within the commands and the argument to that command to define such alias we have to define it by adding the iphone g options this is the global alias which can be used anywhere in your alias or the commands so now if i have defined this gp1 by applying minus g and now let's see if we are able to use it now it will work okay so if you have a requirement where you have some piece of command that has to be reused across different commands then you can use the global alias if you want to open certain kind of files then you can define the alias like alias hyphen s and then the name of alias if i want to open the file of type key okay and this file i want to open in code i have this graphql.key it has automatically opened this file in the visual studio similarly if you have json file and you want to open it in some kind of editors so you can define the alias for that just define the extension over here and then the command that you need to execute this time i have applied code you can apply vi or browser or anything if you have a very complex requirement in your alias if you know the shell script you can define the simplest form of alias so that your life will be easy on my day-to-day -day basis the alias that i use are like kubernetes related stuff so here if we need to create a cluster i just need to use k cluster to access the pod k pod and similarly for the gradle related stuff i have alias like gdw it will run the gradle w command this is my other alias it takes the input and if we have provided any argument then it will run the build on that particular sub module otherwise it will run the build on the parent module so here by executing this gb command it will build my whole project including all of the modules if i call this gb with the module name like user service it will only build that module so this is all about the alias i hope this video was helpful if you enjoyed watching this video please like subscribe and share and also press the notification bell icon to get the latest update on my upcoming videos till then happy coding